Hi guys, I am Shahzad from Shakzi.com and welcome in the GitHub world. Today we are going to discuss about the repositories, a particular software which can push your code from your local environment to your server, local environment that means from your computer, local computer or your desktop or your PC to your server that means GitHub, Bitbucket or any repository where you keep your project so it's totally depend upon you which uh, tool you are using either you are using the bitbucket or you are using the github it's totally depend upon you you're gonna learn how can you push your files okay so let us start you need a few things before starting one is the source tree app.com this is the official website of the software you can download this software from here and you can install this software by clicking this button once you click on this button so it will ask you about i agree terms and conditions just agree and hit the download button so this is the software available i have already downloaded this software so i have this software Austria. i think it's available in here it's a source tree as you can see this is the source tree software 3.1.3 is the current version while i'm recording this lecture and another thing you need the github account okay if you have not created the github account what you need you just need to access the github.com and uh, click on the sign up button when you once you click on the sign up button provide some information username email and password verify it and create your account once you create your account just click on this and log in with that account okay now i'm going to install the source tree in my pc so double click wait for a few seconds so it takes time okay okay now it's still working now as you can see uh, i have already installed this software so that's why it's not asking me about my credentials so click on the tools click on the options so as you can see you have the authentications where you can put your source code or oh, sorry where you can add your username and the password so as you can see this is the username you can also add username here okay now fine click on the settings as you can see you have your advanced uh, setting here you can also add your account but you can add your account here and how can you create your account from bit, bit, bit bucket so as you can see this is the bit bucket you can also create your account by adding bit bucket dot org so this is the official website of the bit bucket it's similar to the github so as you can see fine okay so now how can you push your code from local environment to your server yes that means uh, github or bit bucket so now here you uh, i'm going to create it's a z c drive xamp docs, and it's a github so as you can see i have a few repositories here so now i'm going to delete these repositories okay now i have deleted create a new folder here i am saying that crud crud encoding nighter 4 so it's a empty folder now go to your github account log in with your account you can create your repository new repository here or click from here it's totally depend upon you i'm creating my new repository and the name of the repository i'm going to create wait for a few seconds i'm going to get the name from my official website so shakezy.com is our official website where you can learn the complete web development course from html to coding narrator and also the laravel jquery ajax and other courses we have more than 50 courses available here okay now i'm saying this is the public repository okay here as you can see this is the crud operations in coding nighter 4 so i'm going to add this name okay now i'm going to copy this one 
and I'm going to create my repository with this name. As you can see, the repository name is available. Now I'm saying this is the complete source code. This is the complete source code of this course. Okay, it's a public directory. You can also select the private. I am saying it's a public. I am saying initialize the repository with read me. Okay, now I am saying it's about the coding nighter and the license is the MID. You can also choose your license. I am saying create repository. So as you can see, I have three files here, but go to your folder, your local computer. As you can see, we have created cred in coding nighter 4 folder here but the files are not here so now what you need just need to embed or add this repository here so how can you do that i'm saying i'm going to add create sorry click on the plus button as you can see it's fine now i'm saying the remote is github so click on the github as you can see here is the crowd operations encoding nighter I am saying clone, so create a clone. Okay, I am saying no, no, okay, fine. What you need, click on the download button, click on this button or copy the entire code here. Okay, now paste the entire code here. As you can see, I have just pasted the code here. Now, what you need, just need to copy the folder path. So, this is the path. Now paste this path here. So as you can see, this is the CRUD folder, CRUD encoding nighter. Now you are ready to go. Just clone this. As you can see, cloning your website. Now go to your folder structure. As you can see, you have three files here. And you also have three files at your GitHub. Now what you need, you just need to add the project here, docs. So it's a CRUD. I have many projects. So these are the files available. I'm going to, I'm not going to copy this one and also this one. Okay, now copy and I'm going to add this, the same directory. Now add your files here. Okay, now we are ready to go. We have a lot of files and folders here. Now go to the source tree and as you can see, it's now showing you the unstaged file. That means you have changed something in your local directories, in your local project. Now, if you want to push these files to your server, what you need, you just need to come in, select stage all. It takes time uh, to stage all. It's totally depend upon your project size and also the internet speed now i'm going to comment this one why this is the complete source code of the i have to add the uh, name of the course now you can download download it so come in this once you come in as you can see it sh it's showing you the push notification now you just need to push these files just click on this so now as you can see it's saying push so go to your github account refresh the page so wait for a few seconds so now as you can see you have only three files but when you click on the push buttons it's now pushing you or your files your local files from your local computer to the server that means uh, your github if you are working on bitbucket and other repositories you can also uh, configure that okay so now as you can see you have successfully pushed your code from your local environment so refresh the page now as you can see you have a lot of files here so you have successfully Post your file from local environment to your server. 
or the GitHub. So now as you can see, you have your readme file. So you have few text here. So how can you update these files? So open your files in your local repositories. So as you can see, this is the readme files. So open these files in your text editor. Either you are using the Sublime or Notepad Plus Plus or PHP Storm, any editor you can. Now I am saying this is the name of the project. And now I am saying hash means it's h1. Now I am saying double hash that means it's, it's heading to h2. How can you learn the coding native for series with mode strap 4? Now, can you learn? I'm saying you can learn. You can learn the coding native 4 series with bootstrap 4 from the official website of the Shexi and copy the entire URL and paste the entire URL here. Okay, now course details. What what is the course detail? Now I am saying this is the course detail. Copy the old details. Here I am saying course detail. Make sure you have to add the space. Course detail. So this is the course detail. You can also add the course outcome or something like this. So it's totally depend upon you. Now save this file. Go to the source tree. So now as you can see it's showing you that you have just changed your one file which is the readme file so stage this file and now you have to comment this so before pushing you always add your comment i'm saying updated the readme file enjoy now so add the comment once you add your comment so as you can see it's now showing your push click on the push button and push your code wait for a few seconds so now go to the github refresh the page wow you have successfully updated your readme file so it's totally depend upon you. So in this way, you can use the source tree software to push your code from local environment to your server. Server, I'm talking about the GitHub or any rep any repository like uh, Bitbucket or something like this. Okay, if you have cloned your site, uh, let's suppose if you are working on one project and uh, you have a team you have more than three and five persons so what you need if someone change the code and someone comment that code and someone push that code to the repository you may have or you definitely have the pull request so once you have the pull request just pull your code or accept your pull request then you then you can push your code let's suppose if my other team member is also working on this project so what he need he, i have just pushed the code okay so definitely he has the source tree and definitely he has one option which is the pull he may uh, he, he use the pull request once he use the pull request the automatically the source tree download automatically all files from here to the local environment once he changed something to the code and definitely he need to come in and also he need to push that code and uh, once he push the code definitely I need to accept the pull request 
so in this way your source tree and your github works so if you guys think i am doing good feel free to share my courses and videos and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so thank you for watching